Hi there, boys and girls. So we are on lesson 15-3. This is called Analyze and Graph Relationships. And this is actually where this whole thing gets kind of cool. So um, I'm going to do the same thing I did in the last video where I'm going to highlight some stuff. So when we're talking about regular muffins, I'm going to highlight that pink up here just to kind of keep myself straight. So it says, a bakery can fit either six regular muffins or four jumbo muffins in each box. Um, each box will contain either regular or jumbo muffins. So either you're getting regular or you're getting jumbo. There's no mixing them up. That's what that means. Um, complete the table and show how many will fit in two, three, or four boxes. And then, and this is where it gets really cool. Uh, well, I mean, we're not going to Disney World, but this is where it gets kind of cool. We're going to make a graph. So that's kind of fun, right? All right, so I don't really need these anymore. Cats on these. All right, so what we're going to do here, um, six boxes, or six in the first box, uh, that would be 12 in two boxes, 18 in three boxes, or um, 24 in four boxes. And then um, four, eight, 12, and 16. And what we have done here, boys and girls, is we've actually created ordered pairs. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a chart like this. Okay. Um, this was, of course, the origin. That would be 0, 0. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. And what I need to do is I just need to assign one to each. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this regular. So I know when I'm working with the regular, I'm going to go on the x-axis and then the jumbo is on the y-axis. Okay. Um, and then what I've decided to do is I've decided to um, divide this up by, I'm going to count by fours because if I count by fours, I will also get the numbers that um, the sixes need. So this is going to go this will be four, this will be eight, 12, 16, 20, and then down here we have 24, and then the same thing going up, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24. It's a little crowded in here, I apologize for that. And then if you wanna be super extra, you could actually like, make yourself like a little grid paper if you wanted to. You don't have to do it that way, but if you're like, I really need this to be totally perfect, that's an option for you. Okay, close enough. So here we go. So we're gonna go six comma four. Oh, I just realized there's no six on there. It's the only one I don't have, but it'll be right between the four and the eight, so that's fine. So six comma four is going to look like this. So this is six and this is four. See how six is right between the four and the eight. And then eight, 12, I just realized I did this backwards. Okay, so this is six. So this would be 12 and this would be eight. Yeah, because this is the regular. And then 18, it's gonna be right between 16 and 20. And 12 is gonna be right here. And then 24, and 16 is going to be right here. So you can see how this works. And then we could actually, if I had a ruler, that would be better, but I don't. And my boxes aren't perfect, so this isn't going to be totally perfect. But my um, geometry teacher in college, or high school used to say, and if your dots don't land on a line, just make them bigger. So we're going we're gonna to honor Mrs. Harlow's memory by doing that. So that's your graph. That's what it looks like. There you go.